in this video i am gonna show you other combinational logic circuit which is known as the decoder and encoder in this video we will discuss about combinational logic circuit so first of all we know that what is combinational circuit combinational circuit is made up of a multiple logic which is the multiple logic like uh, and or or and the combination of these circuits so these are the combinational circuit which depend upon an input so we will get m input so it will also depend upon the present input so if we will give a input n so we will get the output m so decoder and encoder are the most common example of the combinational logic circuit now moving forward to our next slide Decoder is a logic circuit that accepts a set of input and represents a binary numbers. So, decoder is as the is the logic circuit that accepts a uh, n input and gives the two key power of n output. So, it is accept n inputs and it will give the two key power n maximum output. So, it is a computational circuit and in journal form decoder accept n lines and it will get give two key power in output so here is the decoder example is given if we if we have a logic code binary code of 1011 basically decoder is used to convert a binary value into a decimal value which is also known as the bcd code to decimal so whenever we will study about decoder so it will basically convert our pcd code to the uh, decimal so here 1011 is code is given so it will convert into a logic diagram how to convert this so according to this one is the logic high and zero for the logic low so zero means it will invert it and then give the output of and gate so it will also a one so also if we want to establish this equation so we will do that a not a1 bar because zero bar a2 bar and a3 now moving forward to our next slide this is the logic diagram of the decoder it will accept an input and give the two key power of n outputs now our main objective is to study the application in decoder which is the most important in logic circuit this is the one of 16 line decoder if the n input is given 1 2 3 4 so to keep power 4 give us the 16 combination so which was 0 to 15 now moving forward to our next slide this is 3 into add decoder and it is the enable which Uh, give us a uh, one if the decoder is enabled and it is disable for zero now this is the very and most important application in our microprocessor so this is the controller and processor if we know that k each pro each uh, port is deal with the input output ports which is connected to a particular device like in our processor each device has a unique code or a number which is known as a address so this printer has a unique code which is given to a particular address and this keyboard is also a unique code which is uh, if we want to enable it so we will uh, this address here is used to convert binary value into a decimal value so if 001 here one thing is supported in this application the all the output is active low output so if we are given 000 so only this printer is enable is zero uh, all the other output or the other connected ports are one because it is active low so the selected it will give zero and zero is also called as enable so this is active low means it is select this printer is selected and all the other printer are disabled so at one time it will only one device are active and other are disabled so this is the most uh, important application in a microprocessor 
uh, if we know also the most important thing is the microprocessor the data is given uh, travels through the data bus and the address is coming through this port and all the data is transferred one by one to the data bus so i hope you can understand don't forget to like and subscribe my channel engineering tools by sa thank you friends